Now, let's say you have a video, and then what you want to do with that video is that you want to give it an intro. What's an intro? An intro is basically like a little five second clip of maybe your name or something popping up on your screen. So what do we recommend to use? I highly recommend using either simple software such as Blender and Panzoid. With Blender, if you go into my channel, you'll notice that with Blender, I've made a intro for my old channel, which was called Techie Messy. And that was, I loved that intro. But another tool you can use is Panzoid. I've made a video on Panzoid before, but that was extremely long and basically is useless right now. So after doing a little bit of research, I decided to recommend certain types of intros in Panzoid. So you might be asking, how, to, how do I get to Panzoid? What is Panzoid? Can you give me an example of a clip? Calm down, we'll get through all of that in a second. First of all, to access Panzoid, open a new tab, search Panzoid, Dot com and then to access the clip maker where you'll be making your animations just click there after that you can start from scratch you can click on this little object thing add objects such as text models and then you can animate them or you can save time and just look at intros that everyone else has made some people also make outros here for example this one by the way to see what the camera is saying, you want to click this little eye here, and it'll let you see what uh, other people. Sorry, it'll let you see what the camera is looking at. The reason why this is important is because in Panzoid, all you can do is move yourself around like this. You can scroll in and out, and you can also press and hold your left mouse button, and pan yourself and look around. So otherwise, the reason we click the camera is because if I click objects, you'll see that every object, these little boxes highlight a change in their, what's it called, in their position or what they are. So for example, if I click, just trying to find something. Well, it doesn't look like there's a good example here. We'll go to other clips as well. But for example, if I were to click a plus here, you'll see that I've made a little red box. And then if I move this to 11.5, if I go out from here, go back here, oops, this is the wrong thing. What I'll do instead is I'll, I'll try and find the picture, there we go, and I'll change its position. So if I move it forward, you'll see that it comes forward. If I click this little eye, which is showing the camera view, you'll see that this also comes forward. So what will happen is that in the video, it will try and change the position from its original position to this new position here. That's what these little boxes mean. And obviously to make a box, you click the plus sign. So you'll notice that he comes in. But anyways, that's just one example of an intro. So the reason it's important to look at the camera view is because people also make effects on the camera. So as you can see, there's perspective mode 3D. Not that it matters that much. But they do have a shake speed here and also shaking going on because if we go out of camera mode other than this guy moving nothing is shaking but what you'll notice is that this camera these little lines showing the camera the camera is actually shaking the whole time and that's what shake and shake speed is for the position of the camera is also very important as you can see the camera is positioned over here we can move the camera wherever we want let's say I were to move the camera back you'll see the ca camera moving back if I go in here if I move it up and down, you'll notice in camera mode, I can see that as well. But that's only an example of an intro. There are many other intros by the community, such as these 3D intros, which you'll see, they're very similar to Ali A intros. Fearless. And the way to actually edit your name onto these, you want to go to this little uh, box here, and it'll say text name. And then what you want to do, you want to click the text and you want to put your name in. So I'll write test and I'll going to write test here as well. Oops, did I not save it? Enter. Sorry, I have to click enter. Test, enter. Now what you'll notice, Fearless. the name test will be there. However, this isn't the best type of intro in Panzoid. Trust me, there are much better ways to get intros. 
A lot of people now in the community prefer 2D intros, which are nice and clean, especially if you're doing something educational or something just decent. What I recommend is going through 2D intros. So, for example, I was looking at this one over here. I'll click the camera view so you can see what I see. So that's a nice, clean and simple intro. Now, if I go back here, how I'm going to edit the name is that I'm going to see that all these shapes, if I leave this and move here, all of these shapes are just boxes. As you can see, the boxes change, what's it called, shape afterwards, because you'll notice they don't come in until afterwards. But anyways, these are all boxes. If you go through the whole thing, you'll notice that every box is a different rectangle. And what matters to us is the text. So we'll click text and change it to, let's say, test. Now we can view this by clicking the eye. And this is base the basics. If you want to go more into Panzoi, there are much better guides out there. But for now, if you're just practicing, try and find a nice 2D intro. This isn't the only 2D intro. You can also find 2D intros such as these. Let me open this in Clipmaker. You. The reason it's uh, green is so that if you're video editing, you can remove the green screen and just have a see and transparent. The name here is missing. So what happens in some of these is that if the name is missing, you want to go here and you want to scroll down and see text, Panzoi. The reason we can't see the text is because it's in a custom font. Panzoi sometimes cannot view certain custom fonts. So you need to go in here and actually change the font yourself. So as you can see, now that I changed the font, I can actually see the name. Now if I write, it's a test, which is a channel name. Too big, let's just write test for now. You'll notice that now we can see the font. Now, let's say we're done, we've finished, and also a link to this intro will be provided in the description. Now, let's say we're finished here. What do we do? What I want you to do next is that in Panzoi, you want to go down. And before I go down to how you actually get access to this as a video, there's other options such as effects. And you'll notice that we have like wavy effects in here. You'll have lens flare. Lens flare is basically just light flashes. But there are many effects and backgrounds you can use in Panzoid. I'm only informing you so that you know. You can also have Minecraft backgrounds and stuff. So there's many options, and I recommend an in -depth, in, a better in-depth guide if you want to look into that. But for now, to make things simple, after we're happy with this, click download, and then you want to click start video render. So the mode can be balanced, good quality, doesn't matter. Obviously, good quality will mean a little bit more download time. And then you can use either MKV or Web. M. Just make sure that your video editor can actually edit either of these and process these. So I'm going to try WebM for now and start video editor. So start rendering, my bad. Now it's going to say Panzoid wants to store files on this device, say allow, that way you can download it. And then it's just going to start downloading my video. We'll give it a couple seconds. Download video. Afterwards, we're going to have the video actually coming down. There we go. As you can see, we're able to uh, get the full intro there. Now, sometimes you might not be able to view the video if that's the case. Try and change, go click return to editing and change it to MKV. That's usually the reason why you're not able to see it the first time. And go through the rendering process again. Otherwise, that should be it. Next, hopefully, I'll be releasing a video on how to do outros as well. And enjoy that when it comes out. Thank you.